We would be honored if you would join us. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another vintage collection action figure review. This time we're looking at VC295 and we're looking at Morgan Elspeth, uh, the, you know, one of the, probably the main, main villain after Thrawn in the Ahsoka series. Um, yeah, she's a fantastic looking figure. The Black Series one actually blew me away. Uh, so yeah, really, really excited to get this one. This one looks really good. Some soft goods on the skirt, so that's a difference, point of difference to the uh, Black Series one. Um, so yeah, I may even go and grab the Black Series one so we can do a little bit of a side-by-side -side for this review. But yeah, nice card. Played by the fantastic Diana Lee in Asanto. She did a fantastic job of figures in the wave on the back there. Probably going to pass on the HK droid until they do one that comes with a staff. Maybe that one, oh, that one does come with a staff, so maybe I'm not going to pass up on the three and three quarter inch. The Black Series one that doesn't come with a staff. Uh, the Inquisitor coming up very soon, hopefully. Looking forward to that. Yeah, the rest are currently out now. Moff Jared is one I still haven't picked up yet. So, neither way, let's crack this one open and take a look at the figure. All right, folks, here is Morgan Elspeth out of the packaging. She's looking pretty good. I'm digging this figure. Uh, Accessory-wise, unfortunately, it's the same as the Black Series. It doesn't actually come with any accessories, um, which is a little bit of a bummer. I thought that would have at least, you know, for both scales, be a, a nice in, just a, a nice addition to pack in the spear uh, from the Season 2 episode of, of, of Mandalorian, where she featured with um, Ahsoka. But, um, yeah, not to be. Um, you know, that that's probably my only gripe at this stage. Um, you know, just sort of lack of accessory, I feel like that would have been, you know, just a nice little addition. Um, yeah, because I can't really think of anything else you could give her. Um, but, yeah, I think just, the, just that addition of the spear for both scales of figures, vintage collection and black series would have benefited the figure a great deal. Um, I did review the six inch one and, uh, yeah, I think, I think my thoughts echoed pretty much the same that, yeah, it was just lack of accessories is the, that's probably the only thing that lets this figure down. Otherwise it's really a nice figure, particularly with the, the quality of the soft goods here with the fabric, um, and the pattern on the fabric. It looks really nice. It's got that sort of rippled effect through it. It looks good. It's not just sort of a flat sort of plain fabric underneath. Sort of a different, like a nice sort of royal maroon that almost matches the, the maroon on the top. So sort of nice little nod to that sort of night sister lineage she shares. Otherwise the outfit looks good. The head sculpt's fantastic. Yeah, head sculpt's really nice. Sort of hair sculpted immaculately, even the sort of paint, the sort of that sort of darker wash that's sort of filling into the grooves of her hair. That looks fantastic. Just arguably more detailed in the hair than they did with the Black Series too. They did sort of go with it like a black in the front. But the head sculpt, the likeness of the face is great. Um, yeah, the Black Series one's a bit better, but, um, you know, that all comes down to scale and the ability to have a little bit more detail in them, but you know, for three and three quarter, this is pretty darn good, if I don't say so myself. So articulation wise, she does have the sort of double barbell in the t in the head. So it allows a little bit of movement, doesn't need to be, doesn't need much. I was a ball hinge in the shoulders, in the elbows, just a swivel in the wrists. You know, that seems to be maybe with the Sabine. They did the same with the Sabine that I reviewed last week. Hopefully that's not a trend that's going to return. They're getting rid of the uh, wrist articulation. I know she's quite small, but they've done it before. Uh, legs. She's got the, the ball joint, the barbell hips. The swivel on the top of the thighs. The joint in the knees and the ankles. And I'm not sure whether we've seen these legs used before. I feel like they would work well for Asajj Ventress if they were to do a realistic version of her. Please, one day. I'd love to see her in live action. Another nice sister. 
yeah, I'm going to have to find something that resembles a spear for this figure just to display on the shelf. You know, I think it should look good. Even with the removable um, magistrate jacket, that would have been that would have been really cool addition too for both figures, but not to be. Anyway, I'll zoom out a little bit and show you the uh, Black Series one in comparison. So Black Series one, yeah, it's plastic goods for the for the skirt there, which which works fine for the figure. I'd not not a problem at all. In terms of paint applications, they match pretty closely throughout the rest. You can sort of see what I mean about the hair. If I come a bit closer. You can see what I mean about the hair there. It's a little bit black, more black in the front of the Black Series 1. Whereas the vintage ones had a bit more of a nicer wash put through the hair. It gives it a little bit more depth than the Black Series. So... Both are great figures. Definitely recommend picking up Morgan if you can. So appreciate you checking this out. Love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment down below. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. We'll see you for some more reviews very soon. Till then, may the force be with you always.